Starlink has arrived in rural Alberta and watch us as we install it. So basically here in rural Alberta you have a choice of slow or really slow internet and they're basically just a tiny bit faster than dial up. So a couple months ago, actually probably about six months ago, uh, I was asking around in some Facebook groups in rural Alberta what everybody has for internet and a couple people had already gotten Starlink in Ontario and which is weird because I was in an Alberta group. But anyway, they were saying how awesome it is. And so we signed up, I think it was about the end of February, beginning of March, and we just got our box this week. Um, it's July, end of July now, so about six, not even six months later, and we've got it here. So we're gonna install it because, yeah, we're trying to run businesses, homeschooling, and basically if one person's online doing a class, nobody else has internet. So that's about to change, I hope. So we're unboxing. Unboxing, I think. Did you open those ones? Those ones have been open. All right. Let's see. Is that the manual? Yep. It's no words on it. So okay, I guess that's the manual. I guess it's for. It's pretty detailed. So we got to download the app, which we already did, right, yep. on your phone, yep. and then. That's already out. Okay, outside, and that's so inside. That on the roof. Okay. That's inside. Okay. And then you connect it. Okay, well, let's see if we can do this. It's supposed to be super simple. Okay. Okay, so this I take it is the router. And then you've got cables. That's okay. the foot. That's the foot. That goes on the roof. That goes on the roof, yeah. Okay. And you bought. It doesn't come with anything no. to attach it to the roof. So you have to, when you're doing this, you looked it up what you needed. So you need um, some kind of sealant to seal off where, okay, you got the bolts. And then where we're screwing that into the roof, we're gonna seal it so we don't get any water yeah. leakage. And so you got three of these three of at those, the hardware yeah. store and three. You can buy the roof mount, but. <laughs> That works too. Okay, but we were too cheap, right? What? I didn't know. I didn't we know didn't about know, it. We didn't know. We didn't Until know. Until after when they said they yeah. were gonna send it out. Okay. Yeah. And this is gonna be in the house. Yeah, that's that's a computer, I guess. The connector thing. Yeah. And this is the. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Okay, okay let's. Take it. So that's. And we have this. And, yeah. Okay. And that's a power source to the dish. That's all. That goes in the house. That goes in the house. Okay. That's the router. Here, okay. This is the cable. It's, I think about 150 foot. That's what it said online. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, there actually is a manual. Oh, there is a manual. Sure, I guess. Women. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's the dish. All right. And there's some really cool features about this that we were reading that because we are in Alberta with snow and wind and rain, basically our internet right now we're with TELUS. So if you're in Alberta, we have the option of TELUS, Shaw and a couple other ones, I think ExploreNet and a few other ones that are um, not with the main phone companies. But basically they're all really slow. We have a download speed off on like a really nice day when there's no interference and no Oh, just one person on the internet, you get about, what is it, 25 megabits per second yep. uh, download speed and upload speed is between four two, and two and five. Like e maximum five. Yeah. Four and a half-ish megabytes per second. So this is supposed to be like, 120 and 80. Let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll test it at the end once we got it hooked yeah. up. So right now we need to get you and... Our oldest son, Noah, is going to go up on the roof. Yep. And then, well, you have to take your phone up there and you have to locate where you're supposed to put it. And I think we're going to put it here. This is the east side of the house. Somewhere up here, right? Yep, That's somewhere it. Just, just above here. Um, it gets the morning sun and apparently there's a built-in heat mechanism so that if it snow does hit it, it melts off. But if we get a lot of snow, Rain we'll have to be able to get yeah. it... Um, to wipe it off a bit, yep. right? And so that's why we want it kind of accessible. We live in a bungalow, so it's not super high up. So let's put that down there, and then 
let's get you guys up on the roof and... Well, I think we have to start inside first. To you... get the cable. Oh, okay. To Can you the... just detach that? Oh, no. Okay. That's so not going to work. So we have to run it from outside inside. So the previous owner had Shaw yeah. Satellite yeah. set up and it's out there. And then they have the cable running along. I don't know. You can't see it here, but it's running underneath the, the roof here and it goes into the house. So what we're gonna, we were just gonna see if we could hook this up to the other one and when we pull the other one out, have this one threaded in, but that's not gonna work. We still can. Can we still do that? Yeah, so that has to go from outside in, right? Okay. And the shock cable is, it's got the screw mounts. So okay. we can just pull it in through this way. Okay. Good thinking, yep. All right, yeah. well that's what we're gonna do then. All right. Instead of having to like fishing wire it through yeah. and whatever. Okay, that so should all go through. It okay. should go. We we'll just want to get careful of the clip that we don't. Put. It'll have to go through. We don't have a choice. It has okay. to go so through. If we have if to we make the hole bigger, this. we have to make the hole bigger. Yeah, frog we should frog tape, tape over frog that so we don't it. break the clip. So to install, you're going to need some roof sealant, a drill, some bolts, a drill, and yeah. we are using frog tape just to protect this. We were going to actually frog tape this to the other wire and pull it in. We still are. Okay. Are we going to attach to the other one, pull it in? Yeah, if we can. We, yeah. Have, if we, if we, can, we, we should. We might have to alter the hole a bit. Do you want it that way too? Yeah. Just really don't want to break it. That should be okay. That should be okay. okay. So that the clips don't break. Okay, so this is where the satellite cables come into the house. These are from the old satellite. So we're going to try to use the same channel and get this hooked up. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure how you would go about doing this if you didn't already have well, this got, set up. They got wall, wall channels and brick channels. You can order them too. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's How come they didn't say that when we well, ordered it? Because it, it, nothing was available on our website to look at when we ordered it. Okay, it just came recently. Yeah. That oh, okay. They keep adding based on customer feedback. Oh, okay. I think the program is still technically in beta. Oh really? So I, I don't even know what we're dealing with here. Oh. oh. Is it okay, that's simple. That just goes. It's just a hole. Jeez. I don't know. Okay. We might have to make that hole bigger. Um, yeah. Okay, so we've got so, the cable up here and it's clipped. Yeah. I hope we can reuse the clips. see if we have to make We're the hole bigger cable. or not. We have lots of cable because the hole isn't very big. So the cable itself will go through except for it's, there's this end piece okay, that's a bit thicker so I'm pretty sure that's not gonna go through. A couple more feet. Okay. One should be in. You're, you're in? Yeah. All right. That was way too easy. Yeah. Now you have to do it from the other side. Okay. I so, think it could just go. Eventually, you're going to meet up. Oh. Do you need the bigger drill bit? Let's just see if we get through because it's just a little dry one. Oh, okay, yeah. There, you can see all the way outside. Oh, we're in. We're in. Okay, let's see if we can pull it through. Okay. Are you in? We're in. I'm in. Awesome. 
So the bolts we have are 11 mils. I thought they were 7 16ths, but they're 11 mils. And so you just need to make sure because there's no um, groove or anything. No. I don't know anything about this kind of stuff. So we've got our ratchet set all ready to go. I'm gonna pre pre drill. Pre drill. Yep. And. Pre drill it smaller. Okay. Right. That looks, yeah, okay. Pre drill it smaller. Yeah. Get everything ready, and then yep. we're going up on the roof with the roof bracket. Yep. Are you taking the dish up too? You have to use that first to, no. to locate. We, we just need to stand in the oh, Okay. Oh, okay. All right, let's go up. We're getting ready to go up. So the thing with the Starlink is, is that you have to have a clear view from the trees, and we've got a large tree over there. You see large trees on the other side of the house. The chimney stacks. Yeah, we got the chimney stacks and stuff. So we thought this side might be better. So you just hold your phone close to the roof. You you hold it. You pretend the phone is the dish. So I'm holding it right now, and then there'll be black marks if there's an obstruction or something where it can't see on the oh, screen. Okay. And then if you can get the entire phone screen filled with clear sky or sky, then that's where the dish needs to go, and right about here. Okay. Where it needs to be. Okay. It's pretty much pointing straight up. Okay. And the center of the can I give you the bucket? Has to be there. So I'll give you that. And then you can double check again. I'll put that there. Do it. I put this back and I just So now we've got the roof sealant. Yeah, that's that stuff. We've and drilled the holes. Yes. Yeah. And then I'm just going to put a little bit on the hole so that when we drive the bolt in, it should squeeze it right on into the hole and then hopefully seal it. Okay. Right there. Now we don't need too much wind out here. It shouldn't go anywhere. No. Honestly. How it oozed through there. Probably just filled it up really nice. Lay a bit if you want to. And then you can just. You don't want any water on the hours. No. You want a nice dry. This is definitely not a one man job. No. It could be. It could be? Oh, yeah. Do you not think you could do this alone? That's kind of. Well, I don't know. It's cumbersome. But yeah, that's what I mean. It's more cumbersome. Like It wouldn't be impossible to do it wrong. Yeah, and it snaps right in place. Wow, that's so cool. All right, we'll do the rest itself once it has power. Okay, so what you're putting... Just the, just the cap on. Oh, okay. Just that goes right up the here. wall cap, so okay. So I'm going to take that off. So it protected it, right? We didn't and break anything. We didn't break any because then you're, you're really screwed. Yeah. I don't know how long it would take. That's a special cable. That's not just. That's not just. No, that has to. This ha that has power delivery. Yeah. So, and that goes okay, white so and white. Theory, white on white. Gray and gray. gray. Simple, simple. It should just. Okay. Can you hold it before I drop it? Yeah. I don't want to drop it. Okay. So white and white, it gray has, and gray. Uh, there you go. Oh, wow, that's connected, okay. connected. It's all installed and it's fast. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to let you know that we got this up here and it's Starlink is now in rural Alberta. If you're in the country, this is the way to go. If you need internet, like if you're on YouTube or doing anything that requires like Zoom meetings, any of that kind of stuff, because like my son said, he got kicked out of Zoom meetings all the time when he was in college last fall and spring. And so, and that's probably gonna happen again. It won't happen again. It would have happened again if we hadn't done this. And yeah, if, I would love to hear from you guys. Have you got 
tried it out? Do you have Starlink in your area? And what do you think compared to the regular? Leave some comments below, leave us some love. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of videos. And we're gonna be doing more on homesteading, homeschooling, and just rural life in Alberta.